Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the six trig function values for 5 pi over 3. So, solution. So, before you do anything, the first thing you want to do is identify where on the unit circle uh, 5 pi over 3 is. So, let's draw a quick sketch. So, this is 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and over here, this is also 2 pi. So we can think of 2 pi as a number over 3 by thinking of it as 6 pi over 3. And the reason I did that is because I'm trying to figure out where 5 pi over 3 is. So if 2 pi is 6 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3 is pi over 3 less. So it should be somewhere here in this quadrant here. So this is the angle 5 pi over 3. So right there, that's where we are. So now we have to find um, the reference angle. So to find the reference angle, after you draw your angle, you just go to where it ends, and you go clockwise, and you just go to the x-axis. Sorry, counterclockwise, and you go to the x-axis. So boom, there it is, right? Because I'm going counterclockwise, and I stop at the x-axis. So if this angle here is 5 pi over 3, and this one is 6 pi over 3, this reference angle... is pi over 3. So once you figure this out, the problem isn't too bad. So again, step one, you identify where it is and you find the reference angle. Now what we do is we find the trig function values for the reference angle. Once we do that, we can come back and think about where we are in the unit circle and figure out the signs and then we'll finish up. So let's focus on pi over 3 now. So the sine of pi over 3, this is one that I've just memorized, is the square root of 3 over 2. This is a good method because it requires minimal mem memorization. You just memorize like two angles and you're good. Watch. The cosine of pi over 3, I know that's the other one. That's going to be 1 half. So from these two, I can get the rest. So let's see. Um, cosecant of pi over 3, that's just 1 over sine. So you flip the square root of 3 over 2, and that becomes 2 over the square root of 3. And then secant of pi over 3, you just flip the 1 half, so that becomes 2 over 1, which is 2. Then we have the tangent of pi over 3. That's going to be sine over cosine, so that'll be um, the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Good stuff. So that's really the square root of 3 over 2 times the reciprocal, so 2 over 1. The 2's cancel, and we simply get the square root of 3. This means that the cotangent of pi over 3, well, we just flip the tangent one, so that'll be 1 over the square root of 3. Okay, so now we're ready to write the answers down. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine theta, comma, sine theta. So now we can use this to figure out the answer. So first let's do the sine of 5 pi over 3. So the answer is going to be either the square root of 3 over 2 or negative square root of 3 over 2, depending on where we are. So the only thing that might change here is the minus sign. So once you do all these, you just have to make sure your signs are correct. So because sine is the y-coordinate and we're down here in quadrant 4, y is negative. So this is going to be equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. That's our first answer. Boom. How about cosine? So cosine of pi o 5 pi over 3, that's the x-coordinate. So here the x-coordinate is positive, so it's going to stay the same, so it's still going to be it's still going to be 1 half. And actually, you know, we could have just done these two, and then we could have gone straight to this, right? We didn't really need all of this. Because watch, now from these, I'm going to get the rest. So watch, cosecant of 5 pi over 3. Well, you just flip this one, right? So it'll be negative 2 over root 3. So notice I didn't even use the ones I wrote down. So that was kind of uh, a, a bit of a, of a waste. But it was a good, good practice anyways. Uh, how about secant? Secant of 5 pi over 3. In this case, we flip this one, the 1 over 2, so that's just going to be 2. 
What about um, tangent of 5 pi over 3? Well, I guess we can use what we got. So let's go back to what we got. So maybe it wasn't a waste. I don't feel like dividing again. So um, the tangent of pi over 3 is the square root of 3. So we know our answer here is going to be the square root of 3 or negative square root of 3. But if you think about it, when we divide, one of these is negative and one of these is positive. So the answer should be negative. So this is negative square root of 3. So maybe it is worth just going through, you know, and just doing each one because it does help you in the computations a little bit. And the last one would be cotangent of 5 pi over 3. And basically you just flip the tangent to negative 1 over square root of 3. And that's the final answer. So recap, the first thing you do is you graph your angle and you find the reference angle. And then you list all the trig function values for your reference angle. Then after that, um, you can go back and just think about where you are in the unit circle. Right There's your cosine, there's your sine. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.